as treasurer. Right. Uh, the chairman of the state Republican Party thinks mm -hmm. you shouldn't be confirmed as treasurer. Mm -hmm. uh, Doug Steinhardt, uh, he, he says that uh, by lowering, no, by raising the assumption of how much money the pension system is going to earn. The rate of return. Mm -hmm. uh, to 7.5 percent after Chris Christie took it down at the end of his term to 7.0. Right. Uh, that you're sort of cheating on the pension system a little bit, uh, and and therefore you don't deserve to be treasurer. First of all, is there a scheduled date for your confirmation hearing? Uh, not yet. I'm hoping now that we're finished with the budget, hopefully we'll be able to set that up soon. We've been so busy that uh, but I think a majority of the cabinet um, have not been confirmed yet, so we're I think we're working through that schedule. The you know the governor's office with the Senate president's uh, team. The um, yeah, on the rate of return, yeah, that was an interesting. Um, I, I read that press release. Uh, the rate of return had been 7.65 until uh, the governor took that action at the very end of his term. He lowered it um, by almost as much in that one month before he left than he had his entire eight years in office. Um, so, so was, that a way, was, was that a way of sticking it to the next governor? You'd have to ask the governor, you know, former governor about that. But it was a very last minute move. And, and my thought is if it had been, if they really thought it was important to get to 7-0, you would have thought that there had, would have been a plan in place or it wouldn't have been sort of a, sort of a drop the mic at the end of the administration and lower it to 7 all of a sudden. Um, the towns were worried about their ability to pay, um, how they were going, it was going to add roughly 400 million, I think, more to what the county, the ta local governments were going to have to to find in their next budgets. It was going to add roughly 200 million to what the state was going to have to find, and um, the there are about 129 public pension funds in the United States. Over half of them are at 7.5 or above in their rate of return. So. Bring it to the to 7.5, and then with a a planned uh, a planned progression to get down to 7.0 uh, within the next five years. I felt was the more fiscally responsible and prudent way to um, get to where eventually uh, we may need to be. And we will constantly look at look at rates and and make sure we're okay in that regard. But. Um, the ratings agencies have told us what is important to them is that we make those pension payments. And to the extent that at this last minute um, drastic decrease in the rate of return would have put pressure on local governments and might have prohibited them from being able to even make that payment, um, depending on what their financial status was, uh, this will ensure that they can plan for these, these decreases in the interest rate, they can make their payments. The state is going to make its payment. It, it uh, lowering it to seven five from the the seven six five, which is where the last budget had to. The Christie uh, Christie did not have to deal with a seven point zero. He he lowered it to seven point zero and left. So so his budgets never had to reflect that decrease. Uh, our decrease now from seven six five in terms of budget implementation to seven five means the state will have to pay an, an additional roughly ninety million. And uh, the states will have to pay, I think it's uh, roughly 150 million, I mean, the local governments. And in fact, uh, your budget does make the full pension payment of $3.2 billion right. full, not actuarially, but according to the 10 year ramp up. Right, the schedule. 60%, yeah. Uh -huh. what, what other promises does this? Uh,